Hi everybody, this is Aino. In this video, I share a great convenience store, Seven Eleven Food. Let's go! In Japan, we have some famous convenience stores, and I think Seven Eleven is the most famous and sells great food. So I'll share various kind of food from Seven Eleven. It's all ready to eat food, but quality and taste are amazing. It will absolutely blow your mind. If you have your favorite Seven Eleven food, it's so much pleasure to share in the comment box. And I share 21 wonderful 7 Eleven food in this video. Food will show up category by category following this list. Okay, let's get started. Please subscribe my channel. First of all, I'll start from frozen foods. 7 Eleven sells huge numbers of frozen foods. We can select Japanese food, Asian food, and even European food. Rice, noodles, vegetables, meat, and side dishes, we can have anything we want. I'll mainly share products from 7 Eleven and those will be Japanese food. For frozen food, I recommend miso ramen, fry rice and gyoza, pan fry dumplings. I'll have this and give you my honest reviews. First one is miso ramen. It smells really good. It's so fragrant of miso. Toppings are piece of pork and bean sprout. I honestly want more toppings for ramen. Noodles are really good and so chewy. It's completely different from instant noodles. These are very close to ramen shop noodles. Soup tastes very rich miso. It doesn't taste chemical, so this is much better than instant noodles. Amount of noodles are also great. This is not expensive, so we should buy frozen ramen more than instant noodles. This is good. We can underestimate frozen ramen. I personally love this. Let's see two products in a row. This is a cup fried rice. Fried garlic oil and leek oil smell wonderful. It tastes roasted soy sauce and rice is really moist and chewy. Chunky ingredients make it even better. Speaking of ramen, fried rice, we must have gyoza in Japan. Please make sure dipping sauce doesn't come with this frozen gyoza. It's frozen and I heat it up with a microwave, but boromo gyoza is still crispy. It's slightly warm and it looks very good. Gyoza skin is so chewy and minced meat and veggies are loved inside, so tasty juice will spread all over the mass. Fried rice is hot and flavorful. Fried gyoza is meaty and tasty. Ramen, fried rice, and gyoza. This is a perfect combination. I got shocked because frozen foods are very good. I used to tend to choose cooked lunchbox or instant noodles, but I consider to select frozen food from next time. How was frozen food? Let's move on to onigiri rice bowl next. We have plenty kind of flavor, seasonal onigiri. I share my recommended onigiri. One is chicken, vegetable soy sauce onigiri. Another one is tuna mayonnaise. I guess these two are quite famous and many people love them. This is called torigomoko onigiri. Chicken and veggies are cooked with seasonings at the same time so that rice is colored and all the ingredients are nicely seasoned each other. Main ingredient of onigiri is mainly covered by rice and it's at the center, but it's mixed onigiri, so ingredients spread all over onigiri. It has gentle taste and it tastes great both of the ingredients. This is one of my favorite onigiri. Yubi supplies torigomok tastes wonderful. Next one is tuna mayonnaise onigiri. I think this could be the number one popular onigiri in Japan. It's wrapped by plastic bag, so we need to tear to open it. This is very common style wrapping onigiri in Japan. Dry seaweed won't get wet and soft with this wrapping. As name show, cooked tuna and mayonnaise is in onigiri. It tastes slightly sour and it's creamy and smooth. It costs only 140 yen, but it tastes a lot more than the price. Then we have amazing onigiri. I have it quite often and this is always good. If you have favorite onigiri, let me know in the comment box. Okay, this is onigiri. Let's see next category, bread and sandwiches. Same as onigiri, there are lots of kinds of bread and sandwiches. So I'll share my favorite one. One is this ham sandwich. Another one is egg salad bread. From tons of bread and sandwiches, I guess these two are the greatest for me. This is pork ham and cucumber sandwich. 
Three pieces of sandwiches are packed in a plastic bag. Three pieces are common numbers for one packed sandwich. We can tear the bag from the bag and easily take up the sandwich. The sandwich is not that big. Pork crumb, chopped cucumber, and mayonnaise are between the bread. The bread is thin and it's really fluffy. Soft ham, crunchy cucumber, creamy mayonnaise, and fluffy bread are awesome. It tastes light, so this is really good for a light meal. This is egg salad bread. Egg salad is sandwiched between bread like a hot dog. The amazing point of this bread is of course egg salad. Both egg yolk is mixed with mayonnaise and this is very creamy and smooth. Egg white is roughly chopped, so this chunky texture is also good. Another great point is bread. It's very 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 fluffy. Egg salad bread is amazingly soft, so we don't need to even bite it off. This is just great. We have plenty more bread at 7-Eleven. It's hard to choose. Which one do you like? The next category is drink. Let's see what's coming next. I'll share drinks for the next. There are tons of drinks at 7-Eleven. Most of them are bottle drinks, and some are milk carton drinks. We can buy alcohol 24 hours every day at 7-Eleven. Can alcohol is very common style. We can of course buy wine, whiskey, Japanese sake as well. The best drink at 7-Eleven is pretty difficult to select, so I'll present Japanese green tea called Ayataka. Speaking of Japan, it's green tea, and there are various kinds of green tea drinks at 7-Eleven. I personally think Ayataka is good. It's so flavorful of green tea. Bitterness and astringency are just light. It's really flavorful of green tea. Other green tea drinks are also great, but I think this is slightly better. If you love coffee, Seven Cafe is also great. Coffee from 7-Eleven is very good. I have seven cafe lattes quite often. I can easily make nice and fresh cafe latte from this special machine. Place a coffee latte cup to certain spot and place a button to start extracting coffee. It takes about a minute and we can have rich coffee and milk cafe latte. The great point of seven cafe latte is milk I think. It's really rich and creamy. I guess cold tea is much better than canned coffee in Japan. It could be even better than coffee shops. It costs only 223 yen. It's really reasonable. Ice coffee, hot coffee, coffee latte, or black coffee. Which one do you like the most? Seven Cafe also has smoothies. This is really popular for kids. Chunky frozen fruits and veggies are packed in a plastic cup. We can easily have fresh and tasty 100% pure smoothies. There are some flavors we can select. Depending on what nutrition we want, we can select flavors for that. Scan the label on the lid and place the cup to certain spot and place the salad button to start making smoothie. The special smoothie machine makes wonderful smoothie for us. It takes one or two minutes, so wait and dance until it's done. Just one consideration for smoothie. Almost any 7-Eleven has installed coffee machines, so we don't need to start specific 7-Eleven for coffee or cafe latte. However, not so many 7-Eleven have installed smoothie machines, so you may need to search on walk around smoothie installed 7-Eleven in Tokyo. My smoothie is now ready. Smoothie is nice and cold. It's really fresh and very good. I chose strawberry and banana soy milk smoothie, so it tastes fresh strawberry and mild banana and soy milk. It tastes much better than canned or bottle drinks or smoothies. It's nicely cold, so it's really good on a hot day. Let's see next category, chilled and lettered foods. Same as the frozen foods. We can have various kinds of chilled and lettered foods at 7-Eleven. We can almost have any Japanese food. Today, I'd like to share beef hamburger steak. It's a great blob of minced beef meat. And one more, grilled makaro. It's the fish that Japanese loves. I need to heat them up, so let's get it. First one is salt grilled makaro. Japanese love some kind of fish, and one of it is makaro. It's packed in the plastic tray, and it's really hot. Be careful when you open it. Makaro skin is beautifully grilled, and this is so fragrant of roastiness. It's pretty big and thick. It's almost same size as my hand. 
Fish meat is also well grilled, but it's not burnt at all. Even though I use a microwave to heat it up, skin is still crispy. Fish oil is beautifully smelling and it looks very good. It must be good to have this rice. Green mackerel looks and smells excellent. I'll have it by itself, but I should have got some rice for this. This is so tasty. Second chill product is 7-Eleven Premium Gold Hamburg Steak. Hamburg is grilled group of minced meat. It's a really popular dish in Japan. This time, it's demigrace sauce flavor hamburg. Demigrace is also well known as rich brown sauce in English countries. It tastes either tart or sweet with a peppery taste. Hamburg is very dense minced meat. It's really meaty. Even it's minced meat, it tastes very rich of beef. Demigrace sauce is also great. It's very thick and must be have it with rice. We can stop having homework and rice. This is amazingly tasty. This is Japanese style meat dish. It's homework. Have you ever tried homework? If not, I'm not cheating you. Try it out. Next, I like to share instant noodles. As you can see, we can select various types, flavors, instant noodles. Every one of it is quite unique and good. So I share very famous ramen shops, instant noodles. One is very famous Tonka ramen chain, Ipudo. Another one is Michelin fast star ramen shop, Nakiri. This is Ipudo collaborated instant noodles. Some condiments are in the first bowl as well. Black fragrant oil and spicy miso. Tonka soup liquid. Seasoning powder with some toppings. And chashu. Noodles are like this. These should be straight noodles. Pour boiled water and warm up soup and oil to get ready. This is Ipuro Tonkos Instant Ramen. I garnished ramen. Do you think it looks good? Noodles are very thin straight noodles. I'm really sorry, but this is my honest review. Noodles are not really good compared to actual Ipuro shop. These are just noodles of instant. Black oil is very fragrant and spicy so tastes good. Chashu is not really good either. It's just quality of instant noodles. Soup tastes quite good, but noodles are not really good. It tastes similar to Ipudo Tonkos ramen, but it's only set. I love Tonkos set. This is Nakiru collaborated instant noodles. Same as Ipudo. Some condiments are in the bowl. Liquid set. Spicy sesame sauce. And seasoning powder with toppings. And this is Nakiru Dandan instant noodles. Toppings are minced meat with some chopped skinny onion, so it looks only noodles and set. Noodles are very thin straight noodles. Same as it though, noodles are not really good. It's just instant noodle quality. I've had nakiri before, but it was much more tastier than this. Soup is slightly spicy and it tastes good. It slightly smells sesame and chili oil. Minced meat also tastes pretty good. From my point of view, Noodles are not really good, but it's good to know what it tastes like through soup, I guess. Last three categories are showing up. Next one is hot snack. Hot snacks means fried chicken, corn dog, steam buns in Japanese. It's usually placed just outside of Cheshire. And I share curry pan and spicy 7-Eleven deep fried chicken. This is curry bread. We call it curry pan. Curry pan is deep fried bread. Chewy bread and bread crumb is sprinkled on surface. Outside is very crispy, but bread is very soft and chewy. Very thick Japanese curry is wrapped inside. It's so fragrant of spices. It's slightly spicy. It's well stirred, so it's thick and all the ingredients are melted into one. It's not watery at all, but it's really moist. It tastes so rich. Just cooked curry pan tastes marvelous. We can ask shop staff to have quick deep fried at the shop. This is simply tasty. Second hot snack is nanachiki. It's spicy fried chicken from 7-Eleven. Name says spicy, but it's not spicy at all. It's slightly peppery. It's chicken thigh, so it's really juicy. Be careful not to get burned in your mouth. Tasty chicken juice may flood out and it may harm you. Chicken is well seasoned and it's thick and meaty. If we feel a bit peckish, this is a really good light snack. It's pretty much filling to have, so I often have this. These are great hot snacks from 7-Eleven. Do you want some? 
Last two are the dots. Let's see what sweets we can have at 7-Eleven. Chilled sweets from 7-Eleven are pretty good. We can have European sweets and Japanese sweets. Today, I recommend Japanese style pancake, dorayaki, and Japanese rice cake, warabi mochi. I'll also present you Japanese traditional sweets, taiyaki. These are great Japanese sweets from 7-Eleven. Firstly, I'll share chungui taiyaki with custard cream. Taiyaki is a Japanese piece shaped baked cake. It's usually very crispy and filling is commonly red bean paste. However, this taiyaki is completely different. Taiyaki do is baked, but it's extremely soft and squishy. It's like chubby baby chip. Taiyaki do is very moist and stretchy. It's pretty hard to tear it by hand. Custard cream is inside instead of banco, let me test. It's really creamy and smooth. It tastes very rich of egg yolk and milk. Second Japanese sweet is jelly, red bean paste and roasted green tea. Jelly is called wala mochi and roasted green tea is called mojicha. Sweet soybean powder called kinako is sprinkled all over the jelly. Jelly is very soft and rubo. Red bean paste is very famous type. It has very gentle sweetness and it's good with Japanese green tea. Third Japanese sweet is pancakes with chestnut cream called dorayaki. Filling is usually anko, let me guess, but this is European style dorayaki. Pancakes are top and bottom, and these are very soft and fluffy. Chestnut cream and whipped cream are sandwiched between pancakes. It tastes very rich of chestnut, and whipped cream is very milky. Pancakes are not really thick, but these are pretty chewy. It smells very good of chestnut. Red bean paste dragi is good, but chestnut cream dragi is also great. Collaboration between Japanese and European tastes are brilliant. What Japanese dessert do you like the most? Did you like Japanese sweets? Let's move on to last category, Japanese snacks. There are so many various kinds of snacks at 7-Eleven. We can have chocolate, chips, and Japanese snacks. It's hard to choose number one snack at 7-Eleven, so I'll share one chocolate snack and one Japanese taste snack. These are good. This is Japanese style chocolate cookie. It says cookie, but this is completely different cookie that you expect. Chocolate cookies are very light and crispy. Chocolate is soaked into cookies, so it has gentle sweetness of chocolate. Texture is amazingly good. It tastes really rich chocolate. We can keep eating and eating the chocolate cookies. That much, these chocolate cookies are great. Next one is Japanese style snack. It's called monja snack with sauce. Monja is very popular Japanese dish and it tastes like rich brown sauce. Snack is formed as a cylinder and it's really crunchy. It tastes salty and peppery, so if you like salty snack, this is good. One piece is very small and it's even smaller than bite size. So from kids to elderly, everyone can enjoy having this snack. It's even nicer to have some pieces of snacks at once. I share 9 categories and 21 foods. Every one of it is very unique and do taste great. There are even more wonderful foods we can buy at 7-Eleven. It's a very interesting shop to explore. New products are being released every month and every day. You may find other great foods when you visit 7-Eleven in Japan next time. If you have any great foods that we must eat from 7-Eleven, please share them in the comment box. Thank you for watching the video till the end. I hope this video helps your 7-Eleven life in Japan. I hope you enjoy my video. These are my recommendation videos that you may like. Please click like button and subscribe my YouTube channel and follow my social medias. This is all of today. Have a good day and good night. Bye!